Wow. <laughs> wow, that's it looks ugly. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh shoot. Oh man. Okay, it's going a little too fast. Hello everyone, it's uh, me. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's uh, me, <laughs> Enigmatic E. Um, yeah, today we're gonna be trying something. I'm gonna try to get uh, some 8 bit art, specifically an 8 bit version of Mario from Nintendo NES. And I'm gonna see what uh, Stable Diffusion image to image could do with that, if it can somehow render a more complex version of Mario. Likely it's gonna be a more modern version like the 3D that is very common today. But it's not just generating an image, but I wanna actually do an animation and try to keep it as consistent as possible. That's the challenge. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Let's test it, let's see. Let's see how far we can push it. I wanna get like the most basic version of Mario because here, I mean, there's still a fair amount of detail in here and I'm sure they I will recognize some of this um, but I want to go with the most like I want it to look like this basically so let me look for a sprite sheet that has this style but like the most old-school version of Mario like this right here bam 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 all right so we got the Mario walking animation going yeah I wonder what uh, the AI will see a pixel art picture of a man in a red hat and a green shirt with a red cap and a red shirt by Toei Animations. Oh, Toei Animations. Oh, interesting. Let's be a little bit more specific and call it uh, Super Mario. Super Mario. In this case, I don't want it to stay pixelated. I want it to be more like a 3D render. Unreal Engine. Do you think something will, it will do something with that? Wow. <laughs> Wow, that's, it looks ugly. It actually recognizes like the hand here, right here. Look at this, the hand and, and the leg. The leg is like the wrong leg. Let's see how far we can push it. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. When I was living in Mexico, uh, they used to sell like these bootleg versions of Mario where they had the wrong colors and it, they just look like nightmare fuel. Like it would be like green like this and, and yellow instead of like blue and white okay uh, i wonder if um see what it does with the image to image uh, alternative test ah okay okay now we're getting somewhere wow i mean this is getting close let's uh let's actually say side view side view of mario running okay there you go now we're talking they actually kept it in the same style there's nothing defining the the foot that's in the back and the front i'm gonna cheat a little bit and I'm gonna not change the pixels at all, but I'm gonna change the colors and, and uh, make this darker and then make them more authentic to his original colors too. I know it's a little bit of a cheat, but maybe we get some really cool results if we do it this way. It doesn't look right, his, his legs don't seem right. So this one it recognizes pretty well. Look at the hand, this like this weird, <laughs> weird position of the foot. It follows it almost too well it's just like this awkward position that he's in this is the thing about ai though like to get the results you want you have to tr keep trying and try and change a little and just tweak a little something and then suddenly the ai just knows how to generate it yes yes perfect look at the leg look at the foot in the back here this hand here this hand here let me try to export these i mean consider the fact that this was generated um off of pixel art. I think it's still pretty good. So check it out. I wanna add like in-betweens to this and try to like make it a little bit more fluid and maybe even use like something to interpolate the frames and maybe make it look like a smooth animation somehow. So I added more frames to the walking cycle to see what the AI does with that. So let's see, man. I'm, I'm actually very excited. I hope if it works, man, it might look very cool. Many unbearable hours later. So I feel like I took way too long on this, but I was determined to make this happen. So uh, <laughs> I haven't seen how it looks. I am a bit nervous because I feel like it's just not gonna look good and I spent so much time working on it. If it doesn't look good, it's fine. It's 
Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Okay, it's going a little too fast. Okay, okay, okay. Let's slow it down. Ah, oh, oh, it's a little off. The, the legs, the legs at some a point is just like, it's off. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> what am I looking at? I'm running it through uh, flow frames. Um, the thing is that a lot of these programs are not really meant for something like this because the AI is like doing weird stuff sometimes. Like sometimes you'll see like an extra hand, an extra foot. I don't know if these uh, these programs know what to look for. You know what? Um, it's not perfect. I'm sure if I would have worked with like maybe Super Nintendo graphics, it it would have followed it way better. It would have it wouldn't have struggled as much to figure things out but uh this is coming from like just 8-bit graphics the thing that that just makes it look weird when when i you know play the cycle the walk cycle is like the placement of the legs and it's like it doesn't really know which leg is supposed to be here in the front and which one's supposed to be in the back it has the shape and the shape looks really good i will however say i was able to get this loop going look at this and this is the original walk cycle anyways, so it's the original <laughs> three frame walk cycle of the NES uh, Super Mario. Oh, also I just experimented and I was uh, able to create this by by uh, just messing around with the settings. It looks like a, almost like a Lego uh, 3D version of uh, the pixels, which is pretty cool. This was a challenge for me to try to see if I can get the AI to uh, recognize the pixels and then, you know, make a more complex version of it. Technically, I could have used um, graphics that gave me more details like Mario from the SNES or Game Boy Advance versions. But to me, those are just obvious that they're gonna work. Um, I was just trying to get something like so plain, like just three squares right here that represent the eyes. And I wanted to see what it did with it at the hat. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate everyone. Thank you for subscribing. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Share with people, comment. Um, tell me your thoughts. Tell me what you, what you thought of this. Like if maybe you know some settings that would work best, let me know. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. Take care. God bless. Peace.